you know, with this 3D, 3D uh, camera system, we can help you to support the 3D live emoji with, with your uh, uh, expressions. So, give you more fun. <laughs> Another thing, you know, this with the front, this 3D uh, camera system, you can make this to for live object modeling, and you can scan the object. You can make the, the make the object alive, and uh, it's when you can share that on Facebook. I have a video to show you how it, wo it works. I'd like to invite my colleague, uh, Steve, make a demo for this. Steve, let's... Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Richard, for the amazing introduction to our 3D live object modeling. So I'm sure everybody here is excited to see it live in action, so let's jump right in. So to start the scanning process, we place our objects in front of the 3D cameras system. And once the object is located, as you see on a large screen, we're going to start the scanning process. And as I'm rotating the object through the scanning process, you can see that there are green sections being illuminated on the objects, indicating that these are the sections to be scanned. So I'm going to work my way through the front of the object. And with each successful scan, as you see, the green sections will start to disappear. All right, we're making very good progress on the scan, and we're almost there. A couple more sections left on its arms and its legs. All right, good progress there. And once we have a majority of the object scan, we're going to start to build the 3D model on the fly. And this is quite remarkable as we're taking all the data points we have just scanned from the objects a couple of minutes ago and building the model on the go. And we're at 80%, 90%. We should be done rather shortly. And ladies and gentlemen, here is the 3D object from our scan. All right, I'm going to click on the top right corner to save this model. And as Richard mentioned, we can give life to this object. So why don't we put some life into this character? And what, how we do that is that we are going to do a skeletal mapping of the object based on its head, body, arm, and leg positioning. So I'm going to click Next, which will do exactly that. So what that does is that it gives the objects the ability to have movements and life. And with such a gorgeous stage in front of us, why don't we invite our little panda friend onto the stage in AR mode to perform some actions. So I'm going to get the area in front of me, a bit of a scan. And there's our friend on the stage in AR mode. And we have a list of various actions our little panda friend can do. So why don't we make it exercise and run a bit? Let's take a look. Look at that movement. All right, let's see what else we have here on the menu. Kung Fu moves, this looks pretty interesting. Let's take a look. All right, so those precise movements were made possible by the skeletal mapping that we have just done earlier. And besides these actions, we can also control the panda in any direction we like by navigating it. And as the panda is reaching the center of stage, since it's such a large stage, why don't we size it up a bit and let it enjoy the big stage? 
All right. I'm sure this panel is having so much fun and would love a good photo opportunity like any one of us. So I want to invite Richard back on the stage next to the panda to snap a photo with the panda. All right. Richard, one, two, three, smile. And thank you. Thank you. And besides taking photos, we can also do a video record with the interaction with the AR object. So what I'm going to do is going to hit the record button and have Richard wave to us alongside the panda. So Richard, would you please give us a wave? You see the panda waving as well? And we're recording this live. And what's really neat about it is that we can take a look at the video we just recorded prior. So Richard, please look at the big screen. And let's play back that video we just recorded. <laughs> For a sec. And with such fun moments, I believe everybody would love to share it with our friends and families. So we have a nice, easy share button on the bottom right. You can instantly tap on it. Let's share on Facebook. I'm going to type in wow. Share. Share now. And make sure to check out our Huawei mobile Facebook account for this post. All right, this concludes our demo, and we'll hand the stage back to Richard. Thank you, uh, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.